This is SARS-CoV-2. It belongs to the family of coronaviruses named for the crown-like spikes on their surfaces. SARS-CoV-2 can cause COVID-19, a contagious viral infection that attacks primarily your throat and lungs. What actually happens in your body when you contract the coronavirus? What exactly causes your body to develop pneumonia? And how would a vaccine work? The coronavirus must infect living cells in order to reproduce. Let's have a closer look. Inside the virus, genetic material contains the information to make more copies of itself. A protein shell provides a hard protective enclosure for the genetic material as the virus travels between the people it infects. An outer envelope allows the virus to infect cells by merging with the cell's outer membrane. Projecting from the envelope are spikes of protein molecules. Both a typical influenza virus and the new coronavirus use their spikes like a key to get inside a cell in your body, where it takes over the cell's internal machinery, repurposing it to build the components of new viruses. When an infected person talks, coughs or sneezes, droplets carrying the virus may land in your mouth or nose and then move into your lungs. Once inside your body, the virus comes in contact with cells in your throat, nose or lungs. One spike on the virus inserts into a receptor molecule on your healthy cell membrane like a key in a lock. This action allows the virus to get inside your cell. A typical flu virus would travel inside a sac made from your cell membrane to your cell's nucleus that houses all its genetic material. The coronavirus, on the other hand, doesn't need to enter the host cell nucleus. It can directly access parts of the host cell called ribosomes. Ribosomes use genetic information from the virus to make viral proteins, such as the spikes on the virus's surface. A packaging structure in your cell then carries the spikes in vesicles which merge with your cell's outer layer, the cell membrane. All the parts needed to create a new virus gather just beneath your cell's membrane. Then, a new virus begins to bud off from the cell's membrane. Now, with the virus spreading in your body, how can you develop pneumonia symptoms? For this, we'll have to look into your lungs. Each lung has separate sections called lobes. Normally, as you breathe, air moves freely through your trachea or windpipe, then through large tubes called bronchi, through smaller tubes called bronchioles, and finally into tiny sacs called alveoli. Your airways and alveoli are flexible and springy. When you breathe in, each air sac inflates like a small balloon, and when you exhale, the sacs deflate. Small blood vessels called capillaries surround your alveoli. Oxygen from the air you breathe passes into your capillaries, and then carbon dioxide from your body passes out of your capillaries into your alveoli so that your lungs can get rid of it when you exhale. Your airways catch most germs in the mucus that lines your trachea, bronchi and bronchioles. In a healthy body, hair-like cilia lining the tubes constantly push the mucus and germs out of your airways where you might expel them by coughing. Normally, cells of your immune system attack viruses and germs that make it past your mucus and cilia and enter your alveoli. However, if your immune system is weakened, like in the case of a coronavirus infection, the virus can overwhelm your immune cells and your bronchioles and alveoli become inflamed as your immune system attacks the multiplying viruses. The inflammation can cause your alveoli to fill with fluid, making it difficult for your body to get the oxygen it needs. You could develop lober pneumonia, where one lobe of your lungs is affected, or you could have bronchopneumonia that affects many areas of both lungs. Pneumonia may cause difficulty breathing, chest pain, coughing, fever and chills, confusion, headache, muscle pain and fatigue. It can also lead to more serious complications. Respiratory failure occurs when your breathing becomes so difficult that you need a machine called a ventilator to help you breathe. These are the machines that save lives and that medical device companies currently ramp up production for. Whether you would develop these symptoms depends on a lot of factors, such as your age and whether you already have an existing condition.
While this all sounds scary, the push to develop a coronavirus vaccine is moving at high speed. Studies of other coronaviruses led most researchers to assume that people who have recovered from a SARS-CoV-2 infection could be protected from reinfection for a period of time. But that assumption needs to be backed by empirical evidence, and some studies suggest otherwise. There are several different approaches for a potential vaccine against the coronavirus. The basic idea is that you would get a shot that contains faint versions of the virus. The vaccine would expose your body to a version of the virus that is too weak to cause infection, but just strong enough to stimulate an immune response. Within a few weeks, cells in your immune system would make markers called antibodies, which would be specific for only the coronavirus, or specifically its spike protein. Antibodies then attach to the virus and prevent it from attaching to your cells. Your immune system then responds to signals from the antibodies by consuming and destroying the clumps of viruses. If you then catch the real virus at a later stage, your body would recognize it and destroy it. In other words, your immune system is now primed. Collecting evidence on whether this will be possible, safe and effective is part of what's taking researchers so long to develop a vaccine. It's a race against time to develop a vaccine amid a pandemic. Each step in vaccine development usually takes months, if not years. An Ebola vaccine broke records by being ready in five years. The hope here is to develop one for the new coronavirus in a record-breaking 12 to 18 months. While all this will take time, stay home if you can to protect the most vulnerable. And don't forget to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds and as often as possible. This video was a collaboration between Nucleus Medical Media and the What If channel where we usually dive into hypothetical scenarios about the human body, humanity, our planet, and the cosmos. Check out our channel by visiting the link in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome to Coffee at Home, this special series that we started because we were all locked down. And you all have a special series that we started with Coffee at Home, where we had called guests and we had some talk about this. We did this because we had to sit in our house that we had to sit in our house. So in every house, we had to do something new, this is our habit. So today, we had to do something new. तो आज टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करते हुए हमारे पास एक स्पेशल गेस्ट है स्पेशल इसलिए है क्योंकि वो एक मॉडर्न फिजिशियन है जो मॉडर्न मेडिसिन प्रैक्टिस करती है और आज भी करती है और बहुत बिजी है बहुत सिंपल है और उसको टेक्नोलॉजी वगैरह सब कुछ आता नहीं है शी इज अ फिजिशियन वो हैज बीन यू नो प्रैक्टिसिंग इवन नाउ शी इज प्रैक्टिसिंग शी इज नॉट अ टेक्नोक्रैट शी डजेंट नो मच अबाउट हाउ टू यूज Uh, the Skype and Facebook, but I have somehow managed to get her online and we're going to try to call her. We will try to call her. We will try to call her. Our guest is Dr. Malti Ramani. And she is with DXN with a long time. She has been with DXN for a long time. Maybe she has helped DXN in India and in Middle East to thrive because she has been giving presentations. And I had a fortunate time to spend one of the presentations along with her in Mumbai. I also got a chance to meet her with her and to meet her presentation. A very good, fantastic woman who will really touch your hearts. So, we don't waste time, we go straight and call Dr. Malti Ramani. Hello? Hello? Hello, doctor. How are you? Hi. 
I'm fine. How are you doing? Good I'm morning, doing good. Morning. Good morning, and we, you are live on Facebook, and there are around 150 people watching you live right now. Thank you so much for coming on my show in a very short notice. Yeah. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be with you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, how are things? Where are you? You're locked down in Chennai. I'm. I'm locked down in Chennai. I'm in Tinagar, South Chennai. Uh huh. So. Relaxing at home, seeing patients whenever necessary. Yeah, so yeah. you're still you're still seeing patients, right? Even in this situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay, yes. great. All my gynec kids. Yeah, you, uh, you, All you, my you. auntie. Yes, yes, yes. So, is. so I will just brief you about this show. In this show, what we do is okay. we invite a guest, uh, and uh, what we do is we ask this special guest five questions. Okay, you have a very short window of time, like around 20 minutes, in which you have to answer these five questions. Okay, so they should be short, okay. they should be sweet, and uh, they should be precise. So, can we start? Yes, sure, sure. Okay, so we go with the first question. We go with the first question, and okay. your first question is When did you join DXN, and what motivated you to do so? It's, uh... <laughs> Actually, DXN came to India in October 1999, but the official launch was April 10, 2000. But you know, my husband, they're all business people. So two of his friends came and told me one day, Dr. Malti, a mushroom company is coming to India, mainly on preventive health care. So that time, my knowledge of mushroom was very limited because we all know when rain or thunder shower, something sprouts in our garden. That's all we know. So I said, what? Mushroom? How can it help in preventive health care? They said, no, no, it's a big therapeutic mushroom. That time, no YouTube, no Facebook, nothing. So they brought a lot of computer pages, you know, big, big mushrooms drawn, which I never could believe. Then the office was very near. So they said, one day you please come and see the office. So in October, middle, we went to the office to see. That time I met some colleagues there who updated me on this mushroom, on this medicinal mushroom. It's called the therapeutic mushroom. And for me, it was totally new because we as modern medicine practitioners, we know medicines and we know some herbs. But this, they said, it's a very powerful adaptogen. It can adapt to your body. It can heal many patients. So that really interested me. So I thought I should look into it. So we did a lot of homework, you know, myself and my husband and our friends. But that time, what was interesting was there were a lot of doctors because many of us were interested to know about this much too. And mostly people who are having their own practice because ultimately doctor's aim is to help the patient. So that's how I went to DXN. Then when the company officially launched the products, they gave us only RGGL. Right now, what you see was not there. From the big mushroom, 30, 30 capsules was available. That's all. So I told my husband, we must buy it. That time, we have to pay 850 rupees for membership. So then we bought the products. But I didn't take it first. I gave it to my mother-in-law. <laughs> so because she was generally very weak, she had a chronic fatigue syndrome, osteoporosis. And then after about every day, I used to see her, whether she develops any allergies. Because for me, as a modern medicine practitioner, this is totally new. But then I had read something about it. And one thing I understood is it has no side effects. It can be given with our modern medicine. That's what interested me a lot. And then when I started giving my mother-in-law after about three weeks, she told me, Malti, something is there in this mushroom. It gives me a lot of energy. So I too laughed at her, Amma, I am doing so much treatment for you, you say this, no, she said, if you study, maybe you understand it, you can help a lot of people. So that is what motivated me to go more and learn about it. Okay. Oh, so that's the story of you being a part of DXN. Okay, great. Uh, so yes. now next question, let's go uh, uh, to the next question. As a modern medicine physician, what is your take on food, supplements or natural medicine as a part of healing? Because, you know, even in our own system of modern medicine, we always say prevention is better than cure. But the problem with our medicines is 
we can't take anything for prevention only food but here what i understood is ganoderma being a powerful adaptogen and being a food supplement like our hippocrates said that food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food so that is what interested me and this because of its powerful healing capacities i thought this can definitely help the more people around us and definitely people who are suffering from chronic ailments along with other medicine this can be given so that is what i felt after understanding the mushroom so you definitely support uh, the uh, combination of modern medicine with uh, food supplements yes yeah yes definitely definitely see even now in our modern medicine we have so many right now yeah. we have ginger curcumin and all that those days it was not there but now even our people say integrate the therapy but here this mushroom because i learned about it a lot and because of its adaptogenic qualities this can be given with our medicines and it helps the patients a lot and i agree to it when uh, when uh, as a doctor when you give your medicines for a particular illness or a condition it's always good to also recommend a good diet you know and why not add food yes. supplements some powerful food supplements into food it supplements. Yeah. yeah so yes because uh, ganoderma by itself uh, food it's a food by itself yes so people yes. can take in the morning in empty stomach and it will be totally become alkaline Fantastic. yeah that is what is interesting and you yeah. you can speak of, of this so confidently because you have how many years of experience in dxn now <laughs> now right now i have 21 years of experience wow that's a long <laughs> time because yeah 99 october to 2000 i was busy studying with lot of books because we didn't meet dr lim initially we met him only after he established the office but real great person after that he did a session for exclusive doctors on ganotherapy how you treat patients with ganoderma and the more lot of questions was asked by me and what he told me was he told us was this mushroom is great because it can correct the imbalance in the body and improve the immune system those two words were really catchy for me so when you take uh, anybody the immune system is very important if your immune system is good you fight against the infection but today with the pollution and so many things we are not able to have a very good immune system and imbalance in the body is very difficult to treat chemical imbalance or hormonal imbalance we give medicines but they have their limitation so i thought when i combine this patients improve better so i really was very much interested in this so really thank dr lin so he taught us many things initially in 2000 after seeing him i developed lot of confidence because when you deal with and that time you know it was mainly thought that this mushroom is given for the sick people even their logo was you take this mushroom the sick become healthy healthy become wealthy oh wow <laughs> this this healthy become wealthy was a big question mark for me so i was asking dr lin how can a healthy become wealthy doctor let me not think we just spend the money like he said i've got a beautiful system where my patients also benefit from this this was really nice that time only i understood about this marketing otherwise i am not a marketing person or anything to know so that is how more interest towards dx no that's the beauty of this uh, system you know the sickness you heal your sickness and also you get an opportunity to talk about how you healed yourself and then make yourself a career in dxn yes so uh, doctor we go to the next question that's question number 3 and the question is if you had to choose one of the many cases that you would have healed through dxn which one would that be worth sharing and why okay the initial days my aim was to help only the sick people okay yeah. so now it is totally different the market so what i told is any time you see in your private practice patients see you like god that is you are a very dedicated doctor so like that i had five patients who were chronically sick and they had no other way out so i selected all the five in that first was an infertility and that about two weeks before that only dr lim had educated me on infertility how this mushroom can help so i called my my patient her name is vijay lakshmi 
I told her, five years you are married and you have done all the treatment. She had a tubal block and she had hormonal imbalance, so she couldn't conceive the natural way. She was around 30 years, so she was very anxious. Even her parents were very anxious. Her husband was normal. But Dr. Lim had told me both should take this. So then only the imbalance can be corrected. So I educated them. I took them to the office. So I made them a member. According to Dr. Lim's advice, I gave the dosage, everything. That was in April 10th or 12th, 2000. And after that, September, she missed her periods. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. So I told her, this can never happen. <laughs> I have done so much treatment with our medication. How is it? So um, immediately I said, we'll wait for one more week. We'll do a scan. So I took her personally to the scan center. Oh, great. She had conceived. Wow. The vi viable fetus, which was around eight weeks. So immediately I took her. Dr. Lim was there at that time. So I took her to the office. Thank Dr. Lim. And told him. And what was the beauty is throughout the antenatal period, I was observing her. She was very fine. She had no problem. She was taking RGGL daily three pairs a day. They've, now that guy is doing engineering. He's now 21 years old. Wow. Because that was my first testimonial. Yeah. Amazing. April 2000. Yeah. And the baby was born. Immediately we took the baby, went to Dr. Lim. I have a snap of her with Dr. Lim. Wow. So that was my really thrilling experience, you know, how this can help. And second patient was an allergy patient who improved so well. So that time the focus was mainly to help the sick people. And this lady, see, that is what is beauty of DXN. This lady, because she conceived her opposite house people saw, 10 of them came after that, referred by her. And she became a star agent. <laughs> All this yes. happened, it was really thrilling for me. Yeah. So that is what motivated me to be more with DX. And uh, for your personal experience also, you said that you were, uh, you know, suffering from sinusitis. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was a chronic, yeah, I was a chronic sinus patient. I used to puncture my nostrils uh -huh. because of my lifestyle, you know, busy practice and all that. And cross infection from patients, that mm -hmm. is very common. Yeah, yeah, and when yeah. you have about 40, 50 patients a day, Imagine yeah, yeah. how it will be. And with Absolutely. the weather condition, Chennai. But now, after taking the XM, within three years, I noticed a lot of difference. Now we take three pairs. Both myself and my husband, we take three pairs, RGGL and this coffee. My sinusitis is totally gone. And past 20 years, both of us have not fallen sick. That is, wow. I, I think, it's great because of the XM. Great, great, great. And, uh, as a medical doctor, it is not blind, you know, it's all scientific. We yeah, do absolutely. our investigations every year. We do our biochemistry, we do our blood test. Everything is normal. I do my immune system test. Everything is normal. And we travel a lot, especially for DXN meetings. So yeah. this has really helped us and is helping our family even today. Uh -huh. Absolutely, I agree, and it's fantastic. And so, some people are asking me to translate in Hindi, but um, I will be translating. Kuch log mujhe Hindi mein translate karne ke liye bol rahe main karunga. Baad mein summary hone ke baad, pehle doctor, uh, you know, Ramni se ham log baat kar lete. Fir main unse aapko puri summary dunga. Okay, doctor, we go to question number four. Okay, so we have short of time, and question number four is, how has been your journey with DXN? Please, can you add something about your journey with DXN? Okay, see, 99, I told you, I started learning about DXN. I was not a public speaker. I was just at home and my clinic. I used to attend our CME meetings. But then, after educating from Dr. Lim, he said, you can do meetings. And my husband is the main motivator for me because he always used to tell me, don't go like a horse, just go straight. There is a lot of opportunities. And this opportunity has come to your house. So learn about it. And he just changed my lifestyle. He said, you can speak. So initially in the Exxon office, I started doing meetings. And then after learning more, Dr. Lim wanted to launch it in all parts of, U of uh, Chennai. So that time the company said, and I started traveling, started speaking, started seeing more and more people. Otherwise, I was not traveling much. We used to go on holidays with our children, but not like this. 
so dxn has really changed our life our entire family's life and our journey with dxn has been too good lot of, i have brothers and sisters all over the world that yeah, is what and they definitely dxn and you are now my brother <laughs> yeah, okay yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know so that is what dxn bring yeah 216 people to more than 216 people are watching you live when you speaking all this around the world then this is the beauty of uh, uh, the technology that we have this is the beauty of uh, the experiences that now you can share with the whole community the whole world because see uh, being a doctor myself you being a doctor we are not here to just uh, put some jazz or talk something which is unscientific we give some sense we we do our own research when we go out in the public platform to speak there is a reason when we stand for something and uh, it's very nice you know yeah. thank you so much for standing uh, and standing for the cause you know that we are here right now to help the people yeah. the patients now let's go to the question number 4 and no question number 5 i just finished question number 4 now question number 5 is what is your message to the young medical and paramedical students and practitioners the new ones the budding ones what is your message okay okay what i personally feel is with my experience of dxn for 21 years when none of us knew about the mushrooms now lot is coming in the youtube and facebook and all that but those days so we have learned a lot so i feel that in the medical school and today we talk of prevention more than treatment so preventive health care i feel this mushroom is very good so all the younger generation especially who are serving the health community should know about this experience it give it to more people they themselves should consume first experience it and share it with all the people that is my feeling so Fantastic. but what i personally feel is being in the medical line we should understand it so that's what i told dr lim also dr i am allopathy practitioner i should know more about this then only i can commit and tell my patient what it is so what dr lim's logo is sick becoming healthy healthy becoming wealthy i have seen this in this 21 years and many of the sick people see we don't aim for cure in chronic ailments even in our own treatment in our own treatment 3 years we follow up a patient any cancer patient or anything but here what i'm seeing is 5 years 6 years patient just taken they are fine so but counseling is very much needed when yeah. we talk of patients yeah yeah that's okay. that's true that's true so very very nice chatting with you and fi- finding so much about you before i leave i want to ask you my personal question what is your favorite product of dx and other than the mushroom okay we keep aside the mushroom what is the other favorite product of dxn dxn i like the coffee which the one chubby baby oil the which yeah, coffee chubby baby oil DXN. yeah huh? now the cordyceps. cordyceps now the cordyceps yeah good one yeah okay yeah. great Do- doctor it was yeah. fun it was really nice talking to you uh, i need to just summarize what you said you know uh, so that people who are in hindi they can understand so dr malati ramani ke jo ek mbbs doctor bhi hai aur unhe wo ek gynecologist hai abhi practice karti hai unhone ye bataya ki jab wo pehli baar 21 saal pehle dxn se judi wo isliye judi kyunki unke khud ko ek you know sinusitis ki takleef thi लेकिन जब उनको पहली बार प्रोडक्ट दिया गया तो उन्होंने खुद नहीं लिया अपनी सांस को दिया सांस की कुछ यू नो दर्द का प्रॉब्लम था अर्थराइटिस जैसा कंडीशन था लेकिन उसमें उनको बहुत अच्छा रिलीफ मिला तब सांस ने फिर डॉक्टर मालती रमनी को बताया कि आप इसके बारे में जरा पढ़ाई करो आप अच्छे एक डॉक्टर हो आप उसके बारे में अच्छा बोल सकते हो और फिर उन्होंने कोशिश की उसके और जान जान जितना भी जानकारी ले सकते थे डॉक्टर लिम के कितने भी अटेंडे ये ज्ञानोथेरेपी के सेशन उन्होंने अटेंड किए फिर उन्होंने काफी नोट्स पढ़े किताबें बहुत पढ़ी तब यूट्यूब और फेसबुक नहीं था तब वो गूगल भी नहीं था तब उनको किताबें पढ़ पढ़ के उन्होंने नॉलेज लिया नॉलेज लेते लेते उन्होंने फिर कभी कभी पब्लिक स्पीकिंग नहीं करती थी एक डॉक्टर कभी ज्यादा पब्लिक स्पीकिंग नहीं करता है तो पेशेंट देखते देखते वो फिर थोड़ा सा वक्त निकाल के डीएक्शन मीटिंग करने लगी लोगों को सिखाने लगी और ऐसे करते करते उन्होंने अपनी लाइफ में बहुत सारे मिराकल्स देखे डीएक्शन प्रोडक्ट्स के साथ एक अजूबा तो उन्होंने ऐसा देखा जब उनकी एक पेशेंट जिनको बच्चा नहीं हो रहा था उन्होंने उनको डीएक्शन प्रोडक्ट शुरू कर दिया 
फिर उनको जब वो प्रेग्नेंट हो गई उनका बच्चा आज इक्कीस साल का है क्योंकि वो उनका पहला पेशेंट था उसके बाद जो उनका भरोसा हुआ वो और भी स्ट्रांग हो गया और आज वो 21 साल से डीएक्सएन को प्रमोट करती है उनकी फेवरेट चीजों में उनकी कॉफी है और हमारा डेफिनेटली गैनोडोमा है और उसके साथ उनको बेबी चबी ऑयल भी बहुत पसंद है लेकिन अभी फिलहाल में उनको कॉडिसेप्स कॉफी ज्यादा पसंद है हम उनके साथ और बातें बातें करेंगे फ्यूचर में so thank you dr ramni i just uh, um, compra you know uh, consolidated all your talk yeah. in a short talk so I thank you so much yeah, thank you thank you thank you for the opportunity have a good day yeah Best and you take wishes. care and you, you take care see you soon bye bye thank you thank yeah. you thank you thank you bye 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 ladies and gentlemen bye. that was uh, dr ramni uh she was with us right now live from chennai after this we are going to follow up next program at 5 pm dr lim is coming live and we have a program on samata vipassana one of the techniques in which you can calm your mind and see clearly ab aapko jo 5 baje dr lim ka jo hamara special program hai shunya retreat ke bare mein shunya talks mein dr lim aane wale hain aur wo aaj humko bahut hi important topic sikhane wale hain वो है समता विपासना और उसका मतलब क्या है और कैसे करना है शून्य का सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप है आप इसे मिस मत कीजिएगा जल्द से जल्द रिमाइंडर रखिएगा पांच बजे लॉगिन करना और जो लोग मेरे को फॉलो करना चाहते हैं वो प्लीज फॉलो कीजिए डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट फेसबुक डॉट कॉम स्लैश डॉक्टर सवेरा एंड ऑल्सो रिमाइंडर नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज आई गोल्ड गो of air uh, kyunki teen din i have some other uh, commitments so three days uh, we will be planning to not do the evening session i will try to see if i can do ask dr lim the show and uh, maybe that's the only show i will be able to do because i'm tied up with some other assignments so three days maybe we practice shunya hum apna shunya practice karenge and uh, please stay tuned on my page so that i can share more information and updates and see you live again thank you so much mm-hmm.